Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, hey, this is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 7th of January. A nice, sunny, cool day today, but later in the week, the weather warms up. We turn wet, maybe some strong storms, and then more changes at mid-month. A lot to talk about, so let's get in there and do it. We'll check the uh, Skycam shots around the network. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour at 5 a.m. That's coming from Tuscaloosa. That's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge connecting downtown Tuscaloosa and downtown Northport across the Warrior River. Here's the uh, sky cam in downtown Jasper and downtown Haleyville on a cold morning. Ooh, yeah, you got that big upper low that's over the deserts in the southwest. What's it going to do? How's it going to lift out? Who's going to get wet? Who's going to get severe weather? That'll be the big issue to talk about. A little better model agreement uh, today. Pretty cold start this morning. We got readings below freezing in most spots around here. We'll wind up in the uh, mid-50s uh, today. In fact, let me just show you the... Uh, actual chart here for the next seven days while you know highs will be around what 55 today on this graph anywhere from 50 to 55 look at the 70 degree warmth coming in here later in the week wow the big january thaw but don't get used to that because we'll turn much much colder soon after this period as you'll see and a lot to talk about today temperatures around the nation i'd say they're seasonal this morning and again, the only warm spot is South Florida, right, where Alabama's playing football tonight, the BCS National Championship game against Notre Dame. Uh, probably mid-70s at kickoff, just a very remote chance of a shower. I think uh, the game should be played uh, mostly rain-free. We'll check the uh, watch warning map early this morning. Uh, look at the high wind watch for the Dakotas. Winter weather advisories for parts of Montana and Idaho, but generally speaking, the nation is quiet. Now, with the upper low coming out, severe weather possibilities. This is day two for Tuesday or tomorrow. A slight risk over South Texas. And where do you think the weather weenies of the world are gathering this week? South Texas. In Austin, the AMS convention. It's called the AMS effect. Some weird weather always happens wherever they meet. It's just the way it works. And uh, I will be there for a couple of days this week. Quick trip. Uh, this is day three, which is Wednesday. The risk area expands to the east over southeast Texas and much of Louisiana. And beyond that, SPC does not have any uh, risk involved in day four at this point. And that if we have any severe weather, it's going to be Thursday or Thursday night, as you'll see as we go along here. And uh, Here's the rain with this thing lifting out and the really big rains a little west of here. Heaviest rain axis from near Houston to Indianapolis, and that would include places like Shreveport, Little Rock, and Memphis. And in Alabama, the rains taper off from uh, over two inches around the shoals down to less than a half inch around Dothan. And I think that's a pretty well-drawn chart, as you'll see. Uh, let's get in there and take a look at what's happening. First off, uh, the GFS, this is the 06Z run at noon today at 500 millibars. There's your upper low just southwest of Phoenix, and again, down below that, a beautiful day here, sunny and mid-50s, just gorgeous. Enjoy the sun, though. Tomorrow, the upper low is over Mexico, and those always present a problem in that when you've got something like that, the core of the upper low is not in the American upper air system, and sometimes that can lead to flaky model data, but down below that, uh, uh, we stay dry, but clouds will increase tomorrow. And we warm up to near 60 uh, as the big warm-up begins, as the thickness values are coming up. Wednesday, the upper low is on the Rio Grande. And uh, you can see a warm front is lifting north through here. There's the surface chart. The uh, surface low should be near Austin with a warm front extending over to about, uh, well, Interstate 20, uh, Shreveport, Jackson, Birmingham. And so Wednesday should be a day with developing showers and maybe some thunder. Uh, not sure it rains all day. Don't think it will. And severe weather, not likely with the warm front, but there could be a heavy downpour or two. And uh, again, we'll be in the 60s on Wednesday. Thursday, that uh, that's a fairly, you know, fairly problematic look right there for areas just, 
just west of here and maybe parts of north and west Alabama. We got a negative tilt uh, feature. You know, the, the upper system is lifting out. Down below that, the surface low is north of Oklahoma City with a batch of showers just west of here. Um, but the GFS wants to uh, uh, keep the main batch of showers and storms a little to the west, and that's the big issue is how far east will this thing extend. We'll look at the severe weather parameters for 6 p.m. Thursday uh, off the GFS. This is the instability. And again, this is the lifted in the index where you see the greens. That means the air is, is unstable. The, the really big instability values are the uh, yellows down in the Gulf, uh, you know, marginal values up in here, which is fairly typical for uh, January. But there is sufficient instability there for some maybe strong storms Thursday evening. This is the shear, the bulk shear, and the higher values are over northwest Alabama. Uh, and the really big numbers are from Memphis up into uh, uh, southern Illinois. But up there, the instability is not there. So it's kind of out of phase, but this would maybe suggest a window for strong to severe storms, especially over northwest Alabama Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. Um, and again, we'll fine tune that, but it just seems a little out of phase for a big issue. Now, this is the one thing to watch, too. This is precipitable water Thursday evening at six o'clock, and those numbers are very big for January. This could produce some heavy rain where, where the main band lies. But again, with the dynamics passing a little north of here, I think that would prevent any flooding issues. This is Thursday night at midnight. We've got a weakening band of showers creeping in here. And Friday, it's just kind of a dead duck system. The front stalls out uh, somewhere over north Alabama. So while that's not going to be an all-day rain, it will be cloudy and very mild and showers are possible. And yeah, very mild. I mean, come on. The GFS is showing highs between 72 and 75 on Thursday and Friday. Wow, uh, that's that's getting up there toward record territory. Is that big high, you know, the Bermuda high kind of noses in here like in the summer. All right, now let's look at the weekend. This is Saturday. Oh, by, by, I tell you, let's do this. Let's look at the uh, European real quickly. This is Thursday at midday. Um, kind of like the GFS, the, the main batch of rain and storms at midday Thursday is a little west of here. And again, very similar, good agreement, you know, maybe some strong storms Thursday evening over northwest Alabama, and then Friday, it's just a decaying batch of showers as the upper support is gone. So again, there's good model agreement. Now, this is Saturday off the GFS. Look at the 588 Ridge over Florida. Man, but look at the trough in the west. That's the way it works. When you got a big ridge somewhere, there's a big trough somewhere else, and it's turning very cold in the west. A new surface low is over Kansas, and Again, Saturday looks like a very mild day, cloudy with a few showers. Uh, you know, not a big rain event, just scattered showers. And again, we'll be in the low 70s. Sunday, a band of heavy rain sets up just north and west of here on the boundary between the cold air over the west and the very warm air here. But again, we'll stay in the low 70s on Sunday if this is right. Maybe a shower. I wouldn't call it a rainy weekend. I just call it a showery weekend, often on showers Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday of next week, a week from today, uh, the pattern is slowly progressive, and that batch of rain moves in here. So Monday would be a, a wet day, and cooler air begins to creep in. Uh, the, the NAM has temperatures dropping on Monday with highs only in the 50s. And we'll kind of go through next week. This is uh, Tuesday the 18th. Uh, the weather turns sharply colder. Now look at this. On the 16th, it wants to bring in a wave, and that's going to be close to ice issues. That's how, that's how, you know, up and down this thing is. We're going from 70s to maybe some kind of icing issue on the northern flank of all that, uh, Wednesday of next week, and then on the 17th. Uh, again, that's just mischievous. I'm not saying it's going to snow, but I'm just saying it's mischievous out there. And we don't know the, the exact way this cold air is going to come in here, but clearly it turns uh, sharply colder. And then there's the uh, 18th, and that's just cold, cold air advection, very cold. And on the 22nd, we start to moderate a little bit. Uh, we'll check the um, North Atlantic Oscillation Forecast. This is off the European. You can see it going strongly negative at mid-month. It supports the change back to cold. And the Canadian does the same thing. So after this big January thaw uh, coming up uh, late this week and over the weekend, we're just saying don't get used to it because it could be uh, pretty brisk and cold out there. 
uh, beyond that at some point next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.